Do you want to know how to send messages with Ethereum? Ethereum is for sending money. Well, but you can also contact people through Ethereum. How is that possible? You want to know about that? Then smash that like button and it's time for fun on the right. Your crypto show crypto Topic. In today's show, we learn how to send messages with Ethereum. Maybe you want to connect with someone, maybe with a hacker, and the only thing you have is an Ethereum address or some token address. The idea here is that it's anonymous. You don't know who is behind that address, but you can contact this person. How? Well, you need to send a transaction because it's the idea. You send there some money, little money, like 0.00 something, and then you add some information in that transaction. How to do that? Is that possible? Yes, it is. You have to consider that Curve Finance fiasco, they use this system, this method, in order to contact the hacker. And you can see here, if you go to the transaction, you can see there that is zero Ethereum there, just the transaction fee, which is $2.91. And if you click here in so more, you see all this number, hexadecimal number, but if we turn it into UT, F8, you can see the message they sent. We as a group, Curve, Metronome and Alchemist would like to discuss about it with any parties who were involved in the recent Curve's exploit, etc. They contacted them and they had some money back due to this. This was the way of communicating with someone anonymously. Of course, you can have these cryptographied uh, different methods, but this would be something that anyone that knows the transaction can read. Well, also thanks to this, in Euler Finance fiasco, some guy asked uh, the hacker for some money back and he had a hundred ethereum back from the hacker because this guy asked this nicely with this method i'm going to show you and i'm following the method from the smart ape this twitter account well this x account right now so follow this guy very interesting thread there and i will follow it it's very simple to do you just need a translator where we are going to turn our text into hexadecimal code and this is uh, the text i'm going to turn into hex and you see here all those crazy numbers Step two, you need a my Ether wallet address. I'm going to teach you with this. There are other providers there. You can use those, but this is one I use because I found it really, really simple to do. And then we will check that our transaction is well done and it's in the market. The smart ape also tells you a more difficult way with Python code. I'm not expert, so for me, this is too much. So I would use the other system but here if you use this uh, you will have greater control and also you won't pay platform fees but again i prefer to pay the one two dollar fees so i don't have to learn python right now this is my case it hasn't to be yours so again we will verify that this was successful how do we do this? Okay, we go to online tools, link in the description. Again, you type there whatever you want. So try this with me. Send me some uh, message there with a little Ethereum if you want to make a tip there. Or maybe you want to send me a hundred thousand Ethereum. It's okay for me if you have a lot. Well, you go there, I leave you the link in the description, type the message you want me to read in next show. I will do that if you send me a message there that I can read. And then again, we go to my Ether wallet there. You create an account. I connected mine with MetaMask. Very easy. Remember, you know MetaMask, you have your browser extension. You just connect it with the address you have the Ethereum in. You go here, you go to send, and here you decide how uh, much Ethereum you're going to send me. If you want to send me $1, right now with CoinGecko calculator will be 0 0.00055. So you go there and put it. The address, easy, fun on the right.eth because they have this kind of domains, decentralized ones, and I am this address, I am fan on right.eth. So it's going to take us a $1.16 in around 15 minutes, but for me, it was like eight seconds. And now you have to click on advance and there here in add data, you go and put not the money you want to send, but you go here and tape this and copy it and paste it after the X, something I learned. 
and then you go to next and you pay confirm and send and this is all you need to go so if you go to etherscan you can see the transaction there and if we go down you can see you send me one dollar thank you very much you pay 1.31 dollars in fee thank you very much and here you see the default view all those crazy numbers that we copy pasted but then if we go to utf8 we have our message there so thank you send me your message and i will read it in next crypto news and now if you learn this and you find this interesting remember to smash the like button but also you will consider can i do this with bitcoin well here you have an answer about this telling you that it's not possible to send a message directly through bitcoin because it was created for money transactions not for conversations but again we have there a op return thing uh you know i'm not very technical but there we can put some kind of data there so we are going to follow the same procedure and remember Remember that in the Genesis blog, the first one, Satoshi used this in order to send a message to the world, Chancellor or brick of second bailout for banks. This was the message. You can go to uh, this Genesis blog and you can see it there in this side. Also here, turn into UTF-8, but again, this was a hex number and you can do the opposite. So you can, of course, use hex to text or text to hex. I'm going to leave you both sides. So again, you can use here the hex string we use. And if you convert it, you see here the text. And if I copy this and I go to the other way around, I input the text there, I convert it and I have the number. So interesting what you know that this is the way how Satoshi talked to us in that transaction. If you want to know more about how to do this, I leave you these messages in the description. I'm not going to follow you through the process. It's the same, similar, but you need to use Electrum there and it will took us a lot of time. So enough for today. We knew how to send messages through Ethereum and we know that with Electrum and other systems, we can do that with Bitcoin too. But you have the Electrum system, as we did with my Ether wallet, but there are also some other different applications that you connect with Bitcoin and those are easy to use too. So if this is something of your interest, remember to smash the like button and we will tell you more in future programs. We keep on learning about crypto here in Fun on the Right. Health, money, love, party and peace. The best is yet to come to the moon.